Now, a lot of other people have documented Lombus 4's failure. Cloud 4 and Opus was good, but not that much better than 3.5, right? Meta caught attention using a completely different optimized for conversationality version for marketing than they actually released to people. So we can definitely see that scaling is really starting to hit the limits. So I wanna talk about this article right here because I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk through some of the pieces of this article here. So inverse scaling and test compute. So this is something actually released by Anthropic, right? These are a bunch of Anthropic and Scale AI guys, right? So we constructed evaluation to a uh, task where extending the reasoning length of large language models or LR large reasoning models deteriorate performance, exhibiting an inverse scaling relationship between test time and uh, compute and accuracy. Let me put this into another layman's term. Basically, there's new research coming from Anthropic that reveals that AI models actually get worse the more time they think. They call it inverse scaling, meaning the longer it goes, the worse the performance actually gets. So see, the problem here is this is actually turning into kind of a scam because these models are burning tokens, right? So if you go to chat GPT, you got to pay for the really expensive one to build your thinking, and then it burns through a bunch of your tokens telling you it's working better because it's working longer. But this destroys the fundamental assumption that more compute equals better reasoning than the entire industry has been letting has been betting billions of dollars on see part of the problem is is that when you get reasoning and logic we know hallucination rates are high so when the very first step has a hallucination in it, and then the further steps are building off that hallucinations of the first step it's not going to get better it's actually going to get worse so Claude, which is one of the best models, I actually find that Claude is my go-to. Well, usually it's my one, I mean, I use all of them. I use Grok, I, except for ChatGPT. I don't use ChatGPT, except for their open source models. Hopefully you checked out yesterday's video because I did a review on the GPT OSS model yesterday. You're gonna love it. Go, go check that out. But um, uh, other than that, I don't use ChatGPT. I use Grok, uh, I use Claude, and I use um, Google Gemini. Those are really my three go-tos. Uh, but Claude models become increasingly distracted by irrelevant information as reasoning time increases while GPT models overfit the problem framing. So when asking a simple question like how many, how many fruit do you have with an apple and an orange, extended reasoning led to wrong answers. So the models shift from reasonable conclusions to spurious correlations when given more processing time to try to work through the problem. So if thinking longer makes AI dumber, and this isn't the only report, I'm actually gonna show you another one here too, then how exactly are we supposed to reach super intelligence through scaling compute, right? So if we're just gonna add more compute, that means longer thinking, which means this isn't gonna work, right? I've been saying this for a while, guys, that we're not gonna hit AGI, and that's the point of all this. AI labs have hit the wall of real human-generated data, and we're now training on synthetic data sets that create benchmark gaming monsters. So these models can A, standardize benchmarks, but they can't tell you about popular culture or current events that human learn naturally. The research community is calling this, quote, benchmark maxed and overcooked, end quote, because they're optimized for metrics that don't translate to use intelligence. So Kilcher, a, a popular um, researcher, points out that extensive synthetic data use proves we're gearing towards model towards specific use cases rather than general intelligence. Hello, I've been saying this guys for a long time, so I hope you follow the channel, hope you like and subscribe, and hope you leave a comment down below. Because here at Startup Pack, we love to train software developers as well as build custom software solutions for companies. So when you run out of quality training data, you can't just manufacture intelligence through clever prompt engineering, right? So we've definitely hit the iPhone 17 era of AI. Now, what do you think I mean by that? We've entered the ex what experts are calling the iPhone 17 era of LLMs. So I wanna just pause for a minute. Can any of you seriously tell me one new feature of the iPhone 15. Okay, I know they're about to release the iPhone 17. That's my whole point to this point. Can you tell me one thing the iPhone 15 was different from the 14? Of course you can't. What about the iPhone 16? Can you tell me one feature it had? How about the iPhone 17 rumors, right? Like that's the point where at the same point where LLMs, the new models aren't coming out with anything starkly different. So I keep hearing everybody telling me, man, they're getting exponentially better. No, they're not. They're barely even getting percentagely different. I think you need to go back and go back to like 
uh, high school algebra and figure out what the word exponential means. It, they're not even getting linearly better, let alone exponentially better. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.